Scorpio, hi. So this is going to be a reading for July 1st through the 7th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings. So they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Uh, let's see, Scorpio. <clears throat> Water signs are just not having it. Uh, the overall energy for the reading, the Seven of Swords. I believe Pisces got that too, but uh, you guys are just not, not interested in something here. You're like, nope, pass. Okay, I don't know what that's about, but okay. We'll see when we clarify. In the recent past, the Page of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. Um, I mean, there's love, there's stability, but there's a sense of like something's not quite together there. Together, together. You know, so yes, there's love. Yes, there's a sense of stability, but it's kind of broken apart somehow. Um, okay. Now, in the current situation, the Tower, the King of Wands, the Queen of Cups. That's a lot of passion and a lot of love. I kind of get this, especially with the Tower being here, I kind of get this that um, these are sudden emotions that someone is feeling. Either you or somebody towards you. Uh, almost like, uh-oh, uh whoops. How the hell am I feeling this, you know? Um okay in the immediate future the three of cups the four of pentacles the eight of swords you really want to get something together here you just don't know how you're very confused as to okay okay i want this i want this to happen but how uh like really on it you're not giving up until it happens kind of a deal um the problem is how okay let's see here uh, let's see, the Seven of Swords, Knight of Swords, Five of Swords, the Justice card. Uh, it almost feels like you're fighting for a lost cause and you know it, but you don't want to admit it to yourself, kind of a deal. And I kind of get the sense that you're almost done with that, almost done doing that, because you kept on doing this for quite a minute. Let me do the page of cups in the recent past. Yeah, no, something was something was off here. For the page of cups, you get the five of pentacles, the emperor, the chariot. That's the thing, you know it, you know these things. All of us do when we're in these situations. We just don't wanna see these things, you know, even if we know them. So this was, I don't know what this was to you. Um, there's some love there, there's some this, some that, some the other, but overall you're giving me a sense of this isn't going anywhere, you know, from the get-go. You're you're in this energy of knowing that this, this isn't going anywhere. <clears throat> Let's do the five of pentacles. The ten of swords, the page of wands, the magician, you wanted it to go somewhere. Uh, in your manifestation there, but again, that bigger sense, and, and this uh, this goes even beyond fear, you know, this, this, oh, I'm scared that it's not going to go anywhere. It's not even that. Maybe it was that at some point. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it was. I'm not convinced. I just see the energy of you just knowing this isn't going anywhere. I'm going to keep on manifesting. I'm going to keep on. Remember what I told you? What opened up the reading? Keep on fighting for a lost cause. That's why it's showing up like that. Because you entered something, and as much as you wanted it to work, you knew that it was probably not going to work, you know? Um, but you still invested in it, at least emotionally. For the Ten of Pentacles, you get the Seven of Swords, the Page of Swords, the Fool. You kind of, I mean, there's a sense of distance that's been created at some point. I still see you giving to this. I still see you being very much open to this, but 
physically it's kind of more and more distance by the looks of it let me do the tower in the current situation the ace of cups the death card the queen of pentacles you shut it down you shut it down completely uh you're like no more it's just gonna be about me at this moment in time that's it like that's how you're showing up all of a sudden from an energy of you know you where you keep on investing into something that you know it's not gonna lead anywhere you're like done i'm sure it took a minute for you to get here i'm sure you didn't get here overnight but man quite a switch quite a switch here i'm done i'm done it's about me and that's it so then let's see what's going on here king of wands in the current situation ooh, 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 ooh. let me do the queen of cups and then we'll talk about it scorpio scorpio you got some eyes on you there all right so for the uh, king of wands you get the hangman the three of pentacles the two of pentacles and for the queen of cups you get the queen of wands the king of cups the hierophant uh you got some eyes on you or you got your eyes on someone i don't think so because you're coming in very determined and very assertive with this energy of your focus is on you only you know but i feel like somebody else's focus is on you too um could be a friend or someone you know not necessarily friend group uh like official friend group or anything but someone you know is uh watching you from the distance not doing anything potentially <sighs> with the kinds of energies they're showing me here you would know you would know if you stood uh, two feet away from them you would know it's it's hard to contain this kind of an energy you know and it's it's not a oh it's a little crush oh, i can hide it oh, no, 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 no. this is a little bigger than that um they're not moving they're not doing anything because they don't know what to do you know they're like uh, i'm just gonna feel what i'm gonna feel from that corner over there and i'm not gonna tell anybody okay that's what i'll do um when it comes to doing something about it i'm probably not gonna because who knows i'll fuck it up or who knows what they're thinking that they're not really engaging in these energies but yeah pretty big energies here uh and uh, um let's say you were to confront this person whoever they are and they would reveal oh okay yeah guilty as charged um it's more than meets the eye so it's deeper than probably they even know oh no there was a bird i'm like am i seeing anything no there was a bird um okay cool <clears throat> i may do the three of cup i know right now right about now you're in that place of who is it i don't know i don't know who it is but some energy some energy in here all right for the three of cups in the immediate future you get the empress the high priest is a strength card this is a desire to bring something together something that you feel matches you in any kind of way possible uh especially from a hard perspective now i don't know if this is your energy or whoever's lurking in the shadows here uh but i don't know it's a good energy it's a really good energy very nurturing too it's not only about oh you and me should be together because that's the best thing in the world possible that ever existed in all of the existence of existences no it's beyond that um hmm. for the four of pentacles in the immediate future you get the eight of pentacles the sun the four of wands are you marrying your work 
Uh, no, probably, hopefully not. Um, but there's a level of dedication here to something you're investing in, potentially in the material. Um, and it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not kind of taking you on that path of, yeah, my happiness is going to be found in the material and, you know, the material possessions are, no, no, no. <clears throat> There's a healthy degree to this attachment here. Um, it's looking good. It's looking like um, expanding, but expanding suddenly, kind of. And I feel like it starts with that place there in which you start to focus on yourself and then things just happen. Things just start blooming for you in all sorts of aspects here. No wonder someone's keeping an eye on you there. Um, and this could be tied up to to work here where there's a, there's a sense of accomplishment, but a big one, like a like a dedicated kind of accomplishment. I don't even know how to explain it. But anyways, let's do the Eight of Swords. For the Eight of Swords, you get the Seven of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Tower. Uh, you may have the tendency, even as this grows, to start worrying about things along the way, to start overthinking things, to take things up here. And when that happens, it might look worse than it is. Everything might look a little worse than it is. It's just because you complicate things from up here. So this for now is just showing up as a tendency. Try to keep an eye on that because it might create some problems along the way if you don't. If you kind of get lost in here and then you realize once the damage is done that this was all in my head, you know, but too late now because I kind of messed up here. So try to keep an eye on this energy here because it's definitely coming into play. Um, everything else seems to be growing in a pretty amazing way here for you. You just have this tendency. Um, I feel like when things are kind of expanding so suddenly and so like you can literally see everything in, in you know, in, in your face, just growing and blooming. And I feel like you get scared a little bit by that because you may not be used to that and that might you know, attract you back into your mind. And you know how the mind goes. Let's create scenarios. Let's create what ifs. Let's, you know, it leaves room for fear. And then you know how it works. So try not to, especially when it comes to something um, that's more practical. So something that could be tied up to, to work or something you're working on. Um, it's, it's just going to create problems, this energy of overthinking things and stressing about it, you know. Just let it flow naturally as much as you can. Cool reading, but um, let's see here. Let's see what the universe has. The Queen of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the Page of Swords. And keep that sense of confidence, that sense of assertiveness. You're starting up from what the universe is showing me here. You're starting up from a, a level of confidence here. And once you put an energy out, so let's say you've got an idea to say to someone and you put that idea out uh, with that level of confidence here. Once you put the idea out, your level of confidence drops. That is a signal that your mind is coming into play to fuck with you, basically, and to tell you, mm, you know, usually when you let something out, an energy out, and then you start being like, oh, was that right? Was that like, should I have said it in a different way? That's doubt. That's going to decrease your level of confidence. So keep keep that up there. Don't let the mind kind of take you away from that sense of trusting yourself and whatever you put out there uh, in the universe towards a particular situation. Because I see it dropping right away. Right after the energy is being put out, you drop in your level of confidence. And you shouldn't unless your mind is coming into play to mess with you. So... Anyways, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.